All right, welcome YouTube. Today, what we're gonna have going on here is I'm plasti dipping my emblems. I'm gonna try to plastic dip them gloss black. I'm gonna use peel coat, uh, something that I haven't used before. I'll go up here to the can in my garage. Uh, rust oleum peel coat because they didn't have plastic dip at AutoZone for whatever reason, but it is a uh, gloss finish. So, I got the rear emblem taped up. I uh, didn't use as much, you know, masking material back here because there's not much wind back here to deal with. Uh, but on the sides here, we got a little bit of wind coming into my garage. I used a little bit more masking material. I'm gonna do my 250 emblems. <clears throat> and I'm also gonna do the rear GT. Now the front emblem, I'm gonna get a dark chrome kit uh, from AutoZone when I do my grill delete in the next couple days and I'm gonna dark chrome that pony and it should match pretty good with the uh, gloss back emblem. So the masking is done. So let's get started on the first coat. So I always like to shake this stuff up real good. I've been shaking it for a minute or two. And uh, I'm gonna go over here to this friendly bush and to get it started out the can because the bush don't mind. Spray a little on there. Get it started coming out the can. Step over here to the car. <clears throat> and you want to do very light coats. Just light coats. You're going to coat this whole area. First coat is a tack coat. I like to go from all angles. Wow, didn't mean to spray that heavy. Alright, so that's the first coat on that. Step around. Get the GT emblem back here. Again, light coat. Try to get at all angles. Step around to the side here. It's gonna be hard to film this one. Close to the wall here in my garage. Light coats again. All right. And that's gonna be the uh, the first coats there. We're gonna do several coats. Uh, I'm gonna try to film them all. I may forget to get, uh, get the camera up on one of them, but I'm gonna try to film all of them. Uh, one more thing, uh, I always leave my can sit out in the sun because a warm can of paint, no matter what you're dealing with, uh, plastic dip or regular paint, a warm can is always gonna spray and coat better than a cold can. All right, about five minutes has gone by, five, five to seven minutes, something like that. Go for coat number two. Shaking, keep it shaking. Alright. And uh I'm I'm not gonna try to film the one on the patch. As you can see, I have hardly no room for the camera over there. Uh, and I don't want to pull it out in the sun to be uh doing this. So I'm gonna film the back and the uh, passenger side, but the driver's side over here is just, I just don't have enough room. So, join me for the next coat. Alright, joining me for coat number three, I think it is. <clears throat> I've almost got my desired effect that I want on these badges. So, what I'm going to do is this last coat, and this right here is going to be the last one that I do. So, let's go for it. <sighs> All right, around to the back here. Go around and do that one one last time and uh, we're going to give it probably about 15-20 minutes at least uh, to dry and I'm going to check it on the edge and see if it's dry. Alright, so here we have it. Uh, it's dried. I'm going to start unmasking. Taking a little tape out. Alright. 
Sorry, my camera work. It is just my iPhone, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so this stuff doesn't always work out the way that you want it to. When you go to peel it, sometimes it uh, peels right up off the emblem. Matter of fact, it's pretty doggone hit and miss. But what you need to try to do is go up to a corner here. And it's kind of self-cutting. When it gets up to the emblem, which I probably could have sprayed a little a little thicker but I reach you know what I wanted it to look like matter of fact I think I'm gonna come back I think I'm gonna let that dry just a little little while longer yeah it's just it's not acting the way I want it to act so I'm gonna let that dry probably about another 20 minutes and then we'll come back to it all right it's been about another 45 minutes here feels a little tougher than what it did. That's how it comes off. I'm not gonna torture myself by trying to hold this camera and unwrap all these emblems. Uh, so I just want to kind of give you an idea of how it goes on, how it comes off. And uh, once I get it all done, I will come back for the finished product. Brief intermission. So here we are on the finished product. Didn't turn out too bad. Uh, in between this emblem and these areas here, that was a real pain. Uh, what I wound up using was this little bad boy right here. Uh, it's just a little plastic stick that I had from a Dr. Color Chip kit. Uh, some people use a toothpick and get the same kind of effect. Uh, so in the areas here on the the emblem like in between these areas and right in here let's just use this to go around the edge and get it started till I get my finger behind it and uh, go through chose to uncover around the red uh, it looks better that way but if I had to do it again I probably wouldn't because it was a royal pain to get a uh, tip of a razor blade in and kind of cut around the edges and get it peeled off but uh overall yeah I'm pretty pretty psyched how it turned out so that's just one more modification here that we've done to the uh, 2017 GT performance pack uh, I think it looks a whole lot better with the emblems uh, being dark like that can't wait to uh, go to cars and coffee in the morning me and the uh, spousal units heading up there and I'm gonna get the Dremel tool and then I'm gonna make this video on the grill delete and dark chrome this pony. I'm gonna rehang the pony back in the center uh, just like I had on one of my previous vehicles. So thanks for watching and tune in for the next video. Remember to subscribe for more.